When we describe how oceans mix, we consider temperature and salinity, wind and waves, but we don't take into account the effects of the animals that live in the ocean. Compared to the length scales the ocean mixes at, they're just too small to make a difference. But a new study suggests that assumption is a mistake. Meet the brine shrimp. Researchers used these centimeter-sized crustaceans to stand in for typical marine zooplankton like krill. In the ocean, tiny zooplankton form swarms tens of meters in size for daily migrations to and from the surface. A typical migration lasts for two hours and may cover as much as 600 meters in depth. A single swimmer's wake is quickly dissipated by viscosity. But what happens when a whole swarm migrates? To test this, researchers created a miniature ocean in their lab. They filled the tank with salt water of varying salinity, such that the water was denser at the bottom of the tank than at the top. Then they added tens of thousands of brine shrimp to their tank and used lights to make the shrimp swim to the top or bottom of the tank. They found that the wakes of individual swimmers combined to form a downward jet as large as the swarm. This is important because effective turbulent mixing requires large length scales. In turbulence, energy is added to the largest eddies and slowly cascades down into smaller and smaller ones until an eddy is small enough for viscosity to damp it out. The bigger that initial eddy is, the longer it takes to break down and the more mixing can happen along the way. In the lab, the swarm of brine shrimp created a large enough jet to irreversibly mix the tank's salt layers. In the ocean, migrating zooplankton could create even larger scale flows. Given their global distribution and frequent migrations, these tiny swimmers may have an outsized impact on density variation and nutrient transport. And we might have to update our ocean models to account for it. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more research shorts like this one, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more from FYFD.